Hey guys, it's me, Saran, back with another video. Uh, this is going to be a quick PSA that is really a response to the number of people that I see saying, not all white people are racist. Not all white people. Not all white people. Not all white people. And this is white people as well as black people that love to say this. And I'm just here to let you know, public service announcement, yes, all white people all white people are racist. And the reason why all white people are racist is because all white people are born into and raised in a racist white supremacist society that instills racist white supremacist ideals within them. And until they say, you know what, I am racist. I was born into this racist society that instilled me with certain beliefs of superiority, white supremacy, as well as certain beliefs about black people and other minorities. And I maybe need to stop and take a step back and unlearn all these things. They cannot be your friends. They cannot be your allies. They cannot hang out with you. They cannot date you. I would say that that should be the litmus test for every person Every non-essential white person in your life, aka people that you don't have to be around, like if you have to be around your boss and your coworker, clearly you can't just say, oh, bitch, you're a racist because you're going to get fired. But for any non-essential white people in your life, I think that the criteria for being around them should be, hey, can you admit that our society is racist and that you have racist beliefs that you're working to unlearn? If they can't do that, they got to get the fuck out. They got to go. Because yes, all white people. That's not to say that they're bad or they're evil or anything like that, but they are all imbued with certain ideas from this society. And it is the job, it is the responsibility of white people at this point to convey to other white people listen we have a problem we have a problem because they're never going to listen to you if you're a black person or if you're a minority they're not going to listen to you because they have those ideals okay even if it's on a subconscious level it is not your job to educate white people it's not your job to chase after them it's not your job to respectability politic them and try to prove your worth and your value to them to get them to accept you and say you know what you are a human being that is not your job your job and your work, as you guys know what I've said in my Do Your Work video, is to support other black people, is to uplift other black people, is to connect with other black people, is to fight for black liberation, is to fight for black agency. It is to buy and support, you know, black owned businesses. It is to push for legislation to protect black people. You know, all those things are your job. Convincing white people that racism exists is not your job. Arguing with white people all day on the internet about shit that you know is true is not your job. That is the job of other white people. That is the job of these white allies, okay? That is their job. That is not your job. Racism is white people's problem. It is their sickness, mental illness, disease, whatever you want to call it. It is their culture. It is passed down. It is perpetrated and it is self-fulfilling by them. So it is their responsibility the day that white people decide they want racism to be over, racism will be over, okay? It is your job to create, again, a sense of agency and liberation in the black community so that we can be self-sustaining, so that we don't have to re rely on them. That's your job, because PSA, yes, all white people. There are systems in place that imbue all white people with certain ideas. There are systems in place that imbue all black people with certain ideas. Yes, all white people. Yes, all black people. You can't opt out of the system, right? You can't opt out of the system. So when I say all white people, I'm not saying it to hurt your feelings, and I'm not saying it just because you're white. I'm saying it because I'm talking about an all-encompassing system. And this whole this rush to say, well, I'm an individual, I'm an individual, that is, that's an example of your privilege, and it's just really silly and immature. It's just a silly and immature way of thinking, right? You, you're, you've been raised to think a certain way about yourself, but that is an embodiment of your privilege. So how about you step the fuck back and shut up and listen for a second, you know? Black people don't have the privilege of individualism. We don't, you know? So just so spare me your whining about not all white people, not all white people. Because I don't even fucking care. Like, I don't want to hear it. Like, yes, all white people. All white people are products of this racist, sexist, classist, white supremacist system. All of you. All of you. Every last one of you. Every single fucking one of you are products of the system, okay? You're all indoctrinated with white supremacist teachings from the time that you were born, right? Now, can it be unlearned? 
I say yes. I think yes. I think racism is a taught behavior. It's a learned behavior. It's a pathology that's been handed down for centuries and generations. So yes, it can be unlearned, but most white people do not unlearn it because you guys don't even want to admit that there's a problem. Instead of saying yes, we are living in an oppressive system that indoctrinates every last one of us with these oppressive beliefs. You just rush to say, no, I'm an individual, not all white people. You can't begin to unlearn shit and change shit if you won't even admit that there's anything wrong right admitting it what is it admitting it is the first step or you know admitting it is the hardest step right something like that like you can't opt out of the system you can't opt out of your privilege if you're a white person you can't opt out of the benefits of being born into a system that gives you privilege if you have white skin and I'm gonna make another video about privilege because people seem really confused about privilege and the way that privilege works so I'm definitely gonna make an in-depth video about privilege but just know that the way our society is set up right now if you have certain traits, if you have certain qualities, you get certain privileges, okay? White skin is one of those traits and one of those qualities that if you have it, you get certain privileges. You're born into that system. Now, am I saying it's your fault or this, that, and the third? No, but you are born into that system and you can't opt out of it and you are imbued with those ideals. Yes, all white people. Yes, all white people. Just like all black people are born into a system that sees us as being a threat, as being subhuman, as being inferior because we have black skin. Yes, all black people. Yes, we all experience some form of racial trauma because we are black. Yes, we all have to unlearn Eurocentric conditions because we are black yes all black people and it's the same thing yes all white people are fucking racist because you all are growing up in a racist system I feel like it's not a hard concept to grasp but no one wants to admit one no one ever wants to admit that they're racist like we live in a society of racism without racist people are more afraid of being called a racist than actually working on a racist system right you have people that are so terrified of being called racist that they don't want to examine the fact that they are actually a motherfucking racist right and it's funny like how we understand this when we're talking about other forms of pathology right like we understand my hair is like really annoying me sorry guys like, we understand that people growing up in abusive households have higher chances of being impacted by abuse, right? They have higher chances of getting into abusive relationships, being abused, or being an abuser. We understand that soldiers coming back from, you know, violent war zones or people that are constantly in dangerous situations, like, you know, firefighters and stuff like that, you know, they have a higher chance of suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. They have a higher chance of not being able to adjust to civilian life. We know this. We understand this. We understand that people in certain environments will most likely be psychologically impacted in certain ways, right? Like, we can understand this. But when we start talking about racism and racist systems and learned racism, all of a sudden, everything we know about the human brain fucking flies out the window because white people don't want to admit that they're all racist. They want to hold on to this fucking privileged individualism. I'm a unique special snowflake with magical mutant X ability to not fucking be influenced by my surroundings and the constant barrage of racist white supremacist propaganda. But that's not the way that the brain works. Like, that's not... The way that psychological trauma works, that's not the way that pathology works, that's not the way that it works being put in intensely, you know, damaging situations like the racist systems that are in place in this in this country, and it's just, it's fucking absurd, like, it's fucking absurd to me, it's like, you are not an omega level mutant able to control shit with your mind just because you're white, like, you are not Jean Grey, like, you've been born into this racist sexist, capitalist, white supremacist society, and from birth you've been imbued with its beliefs, period. Yes, all white people. All white people. All of you. All of you. Literally every last one of you, right? And white people love bringing up, like, their parents and their families, like, oh, I was raised to think this, and I was raised to think that, and I was raised to treat all people equally, so how can I be racist, and da 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 And it's like, listen, every white person acts like they had a perfect, non-racist, amazing, wonderful fucking upbringing, which is low to shit. I don't believe that shit. No. I don't believe it. No. Even if I did believe it, which I don't, even if I did believe it, you still have to leave the house. You still watch TV. You still watch movies. Like, you still watch TV with no black people 
or no other people of color. You still watch movies with no black people and no other people of color. You still watch books when um, watch books. You still read books with no black people and no other people of color. You watch plays, you listen to music, you go to concerts, you live in neighborhoods with no black people or no people of color. You go to schools with no black people or no people of color. You know you you still have to participate in a society outside of your home. And white supremacist ideology is everywhere. You go to school and you fucking learn this Eurocentric curriculum that fucking tells you subconsciously that you and your kind and your people did everything and the rest of us did nothing. That's going to have a fucking impact on you. It's going to have an impact on your brain just like it has an impact on us and an impact on our brains. And it's really absurd and ridiculous to me the way people try to act like they can opt out of this system. You cannot opt out of the system. The system is everywhere. White supremacist ideology is everywhere and you're all racist. Yes, all white people, right? Yes, all white people, all white people, all of you, all of you. You're all products of, you're all racist products of a racist system, period. Most you can do is understand your privilege, use it to spread awareness and work to unlearn racist, destructive, parasitic behavior, right? That's how you white ally. That's how you fucking do better if you really don't want to be a racist or if you really feel like you're not a racist that's what you have to do if you're not working to unlearn that shit don't fucking speak to me like don't come on my youtube channel crying white tears in my comment section talking about i agree but not all white people no like the fact that you even feel bold enough to say that to me, to come on my channel and say that to me is also an example of your privilege, right? Like, if you're feeling so fucking bold, how about you go address your fellow racist whites in the comment sections of all the websites, right? How, how come you feel comfortable enough to come to my channel and tell me not all whites, but you don't feel comfortable enough to go to fucking Fox News dot, excuse me, dot com and fucking say, oh, not all black people are this, not all black people are that. Why? Think about, have you ever thought about that? Why are you comfortable telling me not all whites, but you're not comfortable telling your fellow white people not all blacks? It's because deep down, even if it's just on a subconscious level, right? Even if it's just on that psychological part of your brain that has been conditioned from growing up in this society, you have a superiority complex. You are a racist, okay? You think you're better than me, and you feel like you have a right to come on my YouTube channel and come in my black space and try to correct me. And that is all of you, yet again, if you're not working to unlearn it, then it's motherfucking you too. It's all of you. This is a racist microaggression, and it's a form of white supremacy, period, okay? Period. Don't come in my black space trying to correct me, trying to fucking tell me how it's not all white people, this, that, and a third. Yes, it is all white people. It is all fucking white people. Stop trying to hit me with these racist ass micro fucking aggressions. The only thing, yet again, that you should be saying to me is that you recognize that you were born into a racist, white supremacist society that imbued you with certain racist ideas from birth. That's all I, I need you to say to me, period. That you recognize your racism, that you recognize your privilege, that you recognize your inherent bias, that you recognize that you're born into a system that elevates you above everyone else because you're white and that you're actively working to unlearn it. If you ain't saying that, then you ain't saying nothing, period. Period. If you ain't talking that shit, I don't know why the fuck you talking, in the words of fucking Lil Wayne, okay? If you're not saying that, then you don't have permission to talk to me. You don't have permission to leave comments on my channel. You don't have permission to hit me up on Tumblr. You don't have permission to fucking mention me on Twitter, now that I have a Twitter. You don't have permission to fucking t talk to me in on Instagram. You don't have permission to talk to me, white person. You don't have fucking permission to talk to me. And all my fucking black people that are watching this, tell a white person today that they don't have permission to talk to you and watch how fucking mad they get. That's because they're accustomed to being able to bust up in any space and have a voice, right? Which is just another example of their privilege. Let them know. If you're not fucking admitting that you're born into a problematic fucking system that imbued you with racist white supremacist beliefs that you are now actively working to unlearn, you don't have permission to talk to me. You don't have permission to talk to me. Yes, all motherfucking white people. All of you. This has been a public service announcement.